I wish I had a brush now. No PJ. Let someone in and I don't know who that is. We're recording. Okay, you can't record this. <laughs> <sighs> what? You, the thing's not level. Okay, where are the questions? Mm. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Number one, for the people who think we're funny, that's awesome. I don't think we're funny. So I think there's way more. I think you're funny. Funnier things outside there, out in this wild, wild web. So if you think we're funny. She's saying go expand your horizons. No, 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 That's no. What she's I'm to saying, say. no, I'm trying to, don't put words in my mouth. I'm just saying I'm very touched. That was the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm very touched. Ugh. All right. Well, welcome to uh, That's our marriage. the Sanders Family Crazy Adventure podcast. We have no idea what we're doing. Low budget on the 2015 MacBook Pro. Who knows if that intro or anything is helpful, but we do understand that on a proper podcast, you're supposed to have an intro, but we haven't figured that out yet. Da, 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 da. That's our intro. That's garbage. That's a garbage intro. Thanks for making me feel so... Well. All right. So if you were here last week, because pretty much the people who are going to watch this are the people who said nice things to us. You are awesome. From last time. Uh... We had the hat, and we had some questions up in here that we can talk about. Let's do it again. But this week, we have a few questions submitted by loyal friends. <laughs> Could be you. And uh, if you have any questions you. you want to ask us, they get put in the hat, because this is how we're doing it for the right now. You, you're taking too do long. It. What does JP say is the source of his oh. creativity? Who, who sent that? Josiah. Shout out to Josiah. Shout out to Josiah. Oh, man. What do you think is the source of my creativity? I'm going to sit here and talk about how I'm a creative person. <laughs> I don't I'm know. such a creative guy. I'd say the Holy Spirit and things you see. Yeah. I mean, fundamentally, God created us all to be really creative. Uh, I think it's a little bit of your uh, how used you are to failing. And your willingness to try things and know that you're probably going to blow it. And then when you, and then try again. And um, sometimes it can be bad because you waste a lot of time doing stuff that maybe isn't really useful. And other people who are more focused and can stick to the thing. That but is watching Netflix a waste of time really? Yeah. Well, no. What? I don't know what that means. What do you Me mean too. by that? Let's just keep going. So your creativity comes in. To sum this question up, where do you get your creativity from? I don't know. I know a lot of inspiration. I mean, it, we were created to be creative. And I think in general, over our lifespan, we dumb that down and we destroy it, our own personal creativity and our, our willingness to take risks. Uh, and so I get really inspired by my kids a lot and their process that they go through in learning things. And lots of other, all kinds of other people, artists, people doing weird things. I think it's cool. You just got to do it. I don't know. All right, Next. I'll pick out a question. Thanks, Josiah. You dope. How did you meet? Man, uh, this is from Tamar and Philip, who we work with out here. The short version, um, we met through YOM, Youth with a Mission, in Los Angeles, staffing the very first Colin Ross Skaters DTS. What was the first moment when you saw me? I came into the YMLA kitchen and JP was with Victor, a Swedish guy. Victor. And he had a mustache. No. Not that one. That's not a mustache. It was better than was... this one. I'd been growing it for years. That's what I think of it. But in that moment, I honestly thought... <laughs> no, the first moment I saw it, I was like... Nice mustache. And that's what I said to him. And then we introduced ourselves and got to know each other. Um, so I looked over at Victor and we were like, she's the one. And um, that's how we met. That's how we met in the kitchen. YMLA. By her complimenting my Shout mustache. Shout out to YMLA. Shout Next out one. to my mustache. Got me married. 
What kind of music do you like? <laughs> Again, Philip, thanks for submitting that question. <laughs> okay, you want to hear something funny? Until my DTS in 2011, I didn't even know the that country music it's existed because I'm from Germany and we don't have country there. Uh, but one of my best friends at DTS, Sydney, she loved country music. And I really got into it. I love country music. Like, love it. That's what he thinks of it. I'm a country girl. I don't like living in the country. I just like country music. Talking about tractors, horses, <laughs> and love, of course. Love. <laughs> country music is not about love. Okay, what do you like? Um, everything that's not country music. No, JP likes this really annoying, obnoxious, you just want to throw up duh, 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 music. Techno. Who likes techno? I don't even know if I listen to techno. You listen always to it when you need to study and focus. And I'm like, it makes me so nervous that I have to ask him to either put in his headphones or shut it off because I cannot stand it. If you like techno, that's great. It's not Go for it. Techno. But anyways, I think I think that's kind of interesting that there's our brains work so differently that what makes me relaxed musically drives her insane and it makes her very country. angry. Makes me relaxed. In German, the word is agro or aggressive, <laughs> and she tells me, and so I pretty much stopped listening to music out loud since we got married, but. There's a certain... Now you make me look like the bad cop here. <laughs> I cannot believe you just pulled this out. Uh, so, uh, do you want me to talk about the things I stopped doing since we're married? If they come up? No. You can be Positive honest. things you can only. be honest. <laughs> but we uh, we both like cake. Yeah, we do both like cake. Mm -hmm. um, we both like Broken Bells, which is on... Eve doesn't even know what that is, but it's on a playlist and she likes it. Um, we like that song, oh, Ophelia, I yeah, really like that fool, song because her name on my phone was Ophelia forever. We like the Shrek song. Still is. Which song? From the movie Shrek. Shrek's got a really good soundtrack. The soundtrack is dope. Really cool. So. Next. Yeah. Sorry. It's your turn. Oh. <sighs> wow. Everyone's getting their questions answered today. What's your favorite thing to do with the boys? Love mom. My mom. His mom. Hi, mom. Shout out to my mom. What's Dorothea favorite? Sanders. The boys, I think know. she's referring to our children and not my boyfriends. <laughs> my friends who are boys, who could also be called the boys. I think she's talking about My favorite kids, thing to yeah. do with the boys is go skateboarding. Not my kids. The, my boys. I thought we're talking about our kids. Yeah, we're supposed to. My favorite thing to do is when they sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just put them, put them to bed. And then lay down. I'm sorry. Fall asleep <laughs> when they're when putting them to bed. I love hanging out with my kids, but I also like when they're in bed. Um, I like going to the beach with them. I like playing game like with Levy. I like playing games. I don't like playing memory with Levy because he always beats me. Um, or I like I like building Lego Duplo. If anyone knows that, who's that? Yeah, I think I like doing anything creative where they, where they use a lot of their imaginations. I love watching JP paint with them. Painting. They love painting with their daddy, and I love watching them because I get free time. Painting is cool, but it's also pretty stressful. So <laughs> the end result makes it worth it usually, but the the process is fun and really stressful. Um, making Lego is fun. Yeah. Make a lot of Lego together. Yeah. And yeah, move on. They actually just like fighting most of the time. That's they like default. fighting, pretending to be dinosaurs and Godzilla or Spider Man, and Spider -Man. Or, or what's Venom. the guy with the hand? Iron Man, Keely Iron, Iron Man, Iron Man. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Rolf, Rolf and Ila Vilema. Rolf, culture shock in Spain. <laughs> I don't know. So we noticed. Because we've done this now, this is our third time, moving into, from continent to continent, into a new country, culture, whatever, that about six months in, right? About. 
three or six months, I can't remember, about six months in when you live somewhere, culture shock hits you hard. Like, I'm talking about crying, breaking down hard. <laughs> that was for me last year in July. Wasn't a big thing, like we were supposed, Livy was in summer camp to learn Catalan. We were supposed to pick him up as usual at one. JP gets there, calls me and says, there's no one here. I'm freaking out at home. <laughs> uh, where's my child? <laughs> I call my friend who speaks Catalan, Esther, and um, she's and I'm like sending her the papers I got from the school. I'm like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Am I supposed to be somewhere else? Levi's waiting there. What am I supposed to do? And then she just goes, No, 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 you're good. They're on an all day outing, and you're supposed to pick them up at five. I just didn't understand that part because it's in Catalan. So where we live, it's Catalonian, Catalonia from Spain. So they don't only speak Spanish; they speak Catalan. And it's a different language. And so, yeah, that was one of those moments <laughs> where it's just like, but usually culture shock is a ton of little things building up to one little thing, just tipping it off and then you just lose it. And then you just surrender to God because we're Christians and they're good. <laughs> and then you just keep going. I don't know, you did a lot of crying or something. I don't remember. Thanks for showing my weakness in front of y'all. For me, uh, sometimes the service here can be pretty bad. <laughs> oh yeah, customer service sucks. Not all the time. There's, lo there's lots of companies that are really good, but it's funny coming from like America, where North America, Puerto North Puerto America, because Canada is North America, where the customer is always right, and uh, <laughs> and personal service is uh, our guarantee. <laughs> Yeah. Compared to here, where it's like, like get out of my store. It's in the, it's break time. Like yeah. I, I'm selling something to you is not my priority. Uh, so just you may encounter that. I think we should do a last question and be done. Really? Yeah. Well, many people said they wanted us to go longer. No. Many people. I ugly. By the way, if you're watching this and you made it into the 12 minutes, you know that YouTube. I should say that in the beginning. I put I put it in the comments you can speed up this video because i speed up my video so speed us up if you want to it's like the three dots in youtube on the top right and you can speed us up and then it's only six minutes and it's 12. this is a good one kids shenanigans what does that mean uh what type of crazy things have the kids gotten into lately have any funny stories about the chilling i don't know i can't think of anything uh, a few days ago, I caught Keely in the bathroom filling the toilet. There was a plastic bag in the toilet, and then he had been filling the plastic bag with stuff. Caught him doing that. I had Keely. to pull the plastic bag out with my hands and uh, insert it into the trash. Keely loves destroying things, taking things out. I feel like our kids don't do the terrible twos at all. They just have the chaotic threes. Maybe that's the thing. Probably is. I just don't read parenting books because they make me feel stressed. And so um, <laughs> he just loves destroying things, making a huge mess with water and all kinds of things sticky. Um, we basically don't have anything nice in our house because it will get destroyed. JP's embarrassed of our couch because there's pudding on there and looks like poop. Our couch is horrific. It's not poop. It's pudding. Anyone who comes to our house and YWAM, I'm sorry. It's in terrible condition. Uh, we would leave it very nicely. What else did Keely do? This morning, Keely has figured out how to climb up. I have a cabinet with a bunch of the tools in it. And uh, Keely somehow figured out how to climb up and get into the cabinet, which is way higher than I thought he knew how to get into. He climbs up there, takes the bike pump out, and then goes and gets his little bicycle and decides that he wants to pretend to pump up the tires and fix it, which was really cute. And then, like, a few minutes later, I'm in the room with Eve, and I hear, Zzzz. I'm like, what the heck? How did Keely get my drill? And he's like gone... on top of a shelf. Like, we, I have to get a chair to get to it. I, I think it was in the lower part, but... Still, he climbed up there, got my drill, and then was in the kitchen trying to drill his bike to fix it. Yeah. So that was cute and kind of funny. Uh, what about Levi? 
Levi is a super sneaker. He just goes, grabs our phones, and he knows how to work all the apps, YouTube and Netflix app, and then he just hides and watches YouTube and Netflix. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's a it's problem. It's dangerous. <laughs> We're like, uh, we can't really monitor what you're watching if you're just hiding with our phones. So, not really allowed to take our phones, but yeah. Luckily, all he likes to watch right now is... Uh, Lego, people building Lego, adults playing with toys. Love watching this. Godzilla fighting. Godzilla fighting. Stuff like that. What does Levi get into otherwise? Oh, and he likes to go into our cabinet where we have like sweets or like chocolate bars and then just eating it while we're uh -huh. not aware. Yeah, Levi's super sneaky. He's a sneaker. And sneaking into the kitchen and sneaking snacks, which... Secretly, when I was a young boy. I know, I bet your mother could say a lot of stories. I used to, uh, I also was very good at sneaking into the pantry and sneaking. But you guys' pantry snacks. was like at the entrance and with the kitchen. Would you just sit in there? In the Miller Woods house? Uh, it wasn't like that always. I would. Oh, the one downstairs with the mice. No, it, originally, before we had a dishwasher, there was a big cupboard underneath the sink. Oh. Or not underneath the sink next to the fridge and in that big cupboards where we kept everything um i can't really remember then and then my dad actually built that other pantry thing at the front and inside there my mom would have goodies and in our house i grew up with a whole bunch of siblings shout out to my siblings who better be watching uh they <laughs> and our policy the our policy in our house was that you weren't allowed to hoard or hide any food so the food stayed in the pantry and everyone could eat it. That's so funny. That was totally our policy. If you wanted it, I had three siblings. If you want anything for yourself, you hide it and hoard it in your room or put your name on it and put it in the fridge, which he said that we're never really allowed to put. We never, we weren't things. allowed to put our names on the food. We weren't allowed to like protect it or any of that type of stuff. So we all were really used to like food disappearing and believing or in belonging to everybody. That's but, such a weird concept to me. Yeah, well, maybe it's because you're German. Maybe. No. I know lots of people who do it did Anyways, it different ways. finish up, honey. Well, what's the point of that? Oh, is that, I don't know, my siblings, I think, blame me. They blame me for eating everything. They blame me for eating all the chocolate, especially all the chips and all that type of stuff. And they blame me to this day. And it wasn't 100% me. You know what was the best? It was going in taking a big scoop of chocolate chips and a big scoop of cranberries, just eating handfuls of cranberries and chocolate chips. Savage. You know, when I first met his mother, I was like, you're his mother? What? That doesn't, that doesn't go together. It's like fire and ice. Why? Because I was so nice and my mom was no, like, No, your mother-in-law so is the nicest horrible. person, clean, <laughs> stylish, makeup, and yeah. was just what? a dirty bum. I'm sorry. I love you, hon. But he was Whatever. a little bit homeless looking when we first met. Because you got to pack light. But that light. was also... It's because you have to pack light. Charming. I found it charming, surprisingly. Mm. Anyways, we're done. And we went over. Thank you for watching. JP's not going to leave this time. You need to say bye properly. I don't know why he does that. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Send us questions if you want them to answer us.